David, 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 God box two. Yeah, Eric. Let's go. Motherfucking David Banner podcast. And it's Benny the Butcher, Big Griselda. Big BSF. The Butcher coming, nigga. I broke bread and shared plates with the niggas y'all call legends. Y'all too loud when y'all walk in them rooms. It's our presence. My body language just as loud as my voice. And then y'all catch it, yeah. All I do is look and I send them a small message. Now that's a boss, huh? Somebody better check my track record. Look at all these tracks and records. And how I be drilling these bitches like I'm black and decker. My music sounding more mature. I must be acting better. Your shit sound like a car wreck, but I'll fuck your back and nigga. <laughs> Sound of the new age, 2009, y'all was 2002 late. Three cheers for Nappy Boy. What, what, what was something that, did anything ever happen because of the money with like family or friends? And of course, don't name any names, but like, I, I, don't, I don't think that people know the pressure. Oh, my that, dad and my dad and I fell out. Really? All the way. You know how close me and my dad yeah. was, you know? So uh, we fell out all the way. He, you know, he started letting the money blind him and... You know, he's, I mean, the the last straw for me when he, when he, he came to one of my shows in Tallahassee, he was asking me for money and I was like, I don't, I, don't, I, I mean, how you doing? You haven't even said hello to me today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, you know, and uh, we got into it, we got into an argument backstage and the last thing he said was, look, man, uh, you give me $200,000, you ain't even got to, you ain't got to acknowledge I'm alive. I was like, oh, wow. Fuck. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 let me get it, let me get it right. Oh. Hey. Say you would say that again? I was at Jay-Z's motherfucking house. Cha-ching, cha-ching. <laughs> and that dude just looked at me in my eye, talking to me. He's like, yo, so we gonna do this with it however you want to do it. And I'm like, yo, shit, he talking to me? Then yeah. I realized, like, oh, shit, this shit might be real. Because I always heard the story about where he told you don't get on the freshman cover and all that type yeah, of shit. Hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah, man. This is a part of the story that I never tell, though. It's like I was, like, trying to, like, talk like I was on some big shit, like, he was asking what I had going on. I'm like, yo, I'm about to, I'm about to do the double XL freshman shit. You know how to be having the freshmen up right. there. Yeah. So me, I'm telling Hove that I'm about to go up there and like, and rap against niggas. Like I'm gonna shake the energy up in the room. Mm-hmm. He was like, what you gonna do that for? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I was telling him like I was doing something like that. He was like, nah, don't do that. He was like, nah, like you, you, you don't even fit in that. He said, nah, I wouldn't do that if I was you. He's like, that's not the right move. I didn't have a voice, and I and I can remember tears just streaming. And I didn't have the energy to try to make a sound to go along with the with the water. You know what I mean? Like it was just, it was a bad place. And I stayed in that hole for about uh, ten, maybe fifteen years. I'd show up at the studio at the Chronic Sessions and put my work in. You know, I gave Snoopy all I had to give during that time period. And when I was away from the studio, I'd be with the horse. You know, at being a whore. You know, and being doped up and being drunk because that's that's the only way I could get back to a, to a happy place. And then, you know, the next one at the studio, go back in and do it all over again. 